how are you? Welcome back to my channel to another sit down video. This time talking about something completely new. I have had a handful of requests asking me to do a video on like what my general workout fitness routine is. But if I'm talking about that, I also want to kind of address body image because we all deal with body image. It's something that we look in the mirror, we think something about ourselves, whether it be good, whether it be bad. I feel like those two go very heavily hand in hand. So with that, I'm gonna tell you what I do day to day and what I do to help promote like a healthy body image. Let's just start with body image and get that out of the way. So no matter how we look, like the fittest people in the world even have days where they look in the mirror and they don't like what they see. And that is totally normal. You don't have to feel guilty about that at all. Confidence varies for everyone. That's okay. It's okay to be confident some days. It's okay to not be as confident other days. As long as you're honest with yourself, you take a step back and you're like, why am I not feeling as confident today? I'm always a big believer in you're validated and how you feel but let's just take that chance to be honest with ourselves and ask why we're feeling that way. For me personally, I see my body and my body image completely based off of how I'm treating my body that day or that week, not even dependent on like what the scale says per se. Some days the scale will say I'm a couple pounds heavier and I'll actually look at my body and feel more confident about it than the days that I might actually be lighter that day. Side note, I try to not step on the scale too often just because weight does fluctuate so much, even throughout a day. My weight sometimes fluctuates five or six pounds throughout the day and that's totally normal a lot of it depends on hydration digestion hormones salt intake like there's so many different factors that isn't actually a good representation of your weight because weight fluctuates so much and that's normal so that is one thing that I try to do to combat body image is just not really step on the scale that often but as I was saying how I'm treating my body does really affect how I see my body if I have too many cheat meals in a row even if I'm not actually gaining weight I just feel I feel sluggish and I feel like ugh, and I look at my body and I just don't like what I see even if I look the exact same. It's like a mental game for me, I think. So I've also noticed on the reverse, if I go take a walk, if I have a salad or an extra serving of veggies, or even if I wake up in the morning and just like stretch, those types of things, if I'm doing these extra like acts of kindness towards my body, I think I just appreciate it more and I appreciate everything that it does for me. So I feel more confident in it when I look in the mirror, I'm like, Go Mikkel, you took your vitamins today, you stretched when you woke up, like look at you, you're doing great. I don't know, maybe that's just me. All that to say, it's completely fine if you wake up some days and you don't feel confident. It's completely awesome if you wake up some days and you're like, yeah, I look good. It all varies for all of us and we all fluctuate and that's normal. So give yourself permission to feel those things. And if you're ever feeling like it's just one of those gross days, just make yourself a smoothie, you know? Like have some green tea, I don't know, whatever you do that makes you feel like you've just given your body a little extra TLC, that usually tends to help me. Now, as far as fitness and working out, I'm gonna be honest, I am not the biggest workout person. I don't work out a ton. I try to move my body in some way every day, except for some weekends, but I'm not like a gym rat at all. Personally, as a nutrition major, I do believe that like 80% of fitness is nutrition. So Monday through Friday, not Friday night, but Monday through Friday morning, I always try to be like pretty healthy and clean with what I eat. And that I do think keeps me relatively fit. But I also recognize the benefits to working out. Like it is good for heart health. It is good for your metabolism and those healthy endorphins that make you feel better. It's good for toning and building muscle. So those types of things are the reasons I work out. But I do believe that like the majority of being fit is eating healthy. So because of that, I'm not too harsh on myself of like killing myself at the gym for an hour every day because I realize I'm like, I ate healthy today. Let's just move my body some. So realistically, most days I do like a 20 minute workout from home. That's just me being honest. I'm no uh, superhuman here. I will link some of the videos that I love down below so that you can do them too. But since I live in an apartment, I like to do apartment friendly cardio, which is basically a way to get your body moving and get your heart rate up without any jumping or loud noises so you don't annoy your neighbors. That I've been really into. I also, I should work out my arms more, but just being honest here, my body gains weight from my waist down. So I usually try to focus on my legs. So I do a lot of like booty workouts, a lot of squats. I also love doing abs. I don't know why. Abs are something that after I do it, I just feel like, hey, you go girl. And then I love stretching. So I always try to do some stretching as well. So usually I'll pick out two YouTube videos that are like 10, 12, 15 minutes a piece and do two of them and then stretch and then I'm good for the day. I do have a gym membership, but I really only go like maybe twice a week, sometimes 
happens once a week. And when I do go, I do either the elliptical or the treadmill for about 20 minutes. If I'm doing the elliptical, I do it on a high intensity. Or if I'm doing the treadmill, I do it on a high incline, so you're like walking uphill. I never run. Uh, I wish I could say that I was a runner, but I am not. I like low impact cardio. And then after that, I will usually do a round of leg exercises. So like donkey kicks, squats, lunges, all those types of things. And then I will do like 10, 15 minutes of abs and stretch and go home. When I work out the hardest is in a class. I love classes. I love cycling classes so much. That is one cardio that I actually truly enjoy. And then I I love reformers Pilates. Get ready for my wedding. I did reformer Pilates almost every day for like a month. And it's so fun because you work out laying down. That is my dream. And every morning you wake up sore because you isolate muscles. You isolate muscles you didn't even know you had. So I love reformer Pilates. But when I'm not putting forth extra money for my wedding type of thing, the classes are very expensive. In LA, a class is like $30, $35 for like a 50 minute class. So that is ridiculous ridiculously expensive. When I was really into cycling, I lived near a studio where you could buy monthly memberships, so it ended up being significantly less expensive when you could pay for a whole month up front. I don't live near that anymore though. But I do recognize that when I'm in a class setting, I kind of feed off the energy around me, and you can't really cut corners because you're surrounded by a ton of people, so you really push yourself. So that is when I work out the best. I also like to do classes early in the morning. I personally believe that there's a lot of benefits to working out early in the morning. Being honest, when I'm not taking a class, I usually work out midday because I like to work from bed in the morning but uh, as far as health goes I feel like I feel best when I wake up and work out and get that out of the way it's also nice to just take that off your plate I feel like it is important to mention that at my job I am very active that is one perk to being a server I track my steps when I work and then an average five hour shift I walk between five and seven miles which is quite a bit of movement I really take that as kind of like a free pass some days to listen to my body today I woke up and I'm not feeling that great today I'm just I'm really not so I'm giving myself permission to listen to my body especially knowing I'm going into work early tonight so I'll be exuding extra energy at work so because of that I'm like taking a more restorative morning listening to my body stretching giving it a morning off to do whatever it needs to do heal repair whatever if you don't know me also I have an autoimmune disease so I sometimes feel like being in tune with your body and listening to it and giving it what it needs is more beneficial than just always pushing it that is something important especially since I have such a labor intensive job. You know what I mean if you are also a server. All in all, that is realistically what I do. Like I said, I'm no superhuman. I would say this is a pretty realistic workout routine considering most days I just put 15, 20 minutes towards working out, but I also have a very active job. Listen to your body, y'all. Listen to your body, be nice to it, don't be too hard on yourself. Building up a healthy fitness routine for the longevity means not burning yourself out now. That goes with most things in life. <laughs> Healthy balance is always key, I feel like, for anything that is going to be good for your body. I love you so much. Let me know if you like this type of video down below, and please press subscribe. I'm getting so close to 20K. Like, I can't wait to hit that. That'll be so fun. I love you. Have the best rest of your day, and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.